Well, we've heard what Canadians think about the issue of MPs opening up their books to the Auditor General. We've also heard from a Liberal MP. Now it's time to hear from the Conservatives. Senior Harper Cabinet Minister, Heritage Minister James Moore joins us today from Vancouver. So, Mr. Moore, what do you think? Do you think the Auditor General should be able to look at MPs' expenses? Um, that's decided by the Board of Internal Economy, and if that's what's decided, that's what's decided. Um, frankly, you know, it's, it's not a huge concern for me. You know, about 85, 90 percent of an MP's office budget goes to salaries and office rentals. Um, so it's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll live by whatever rules are determined by the Board of Internal Economy. It's starting to feel like the prorogation issue all over again. A Facebook page, editorials, public outrage? Well, uh, listen, I represent about 120,000 people in the House of Commons. I haven't had one constituent contact me on this. It doesn't mean it's not an issue. So, I mean, because the media are talking a lot about it, it doesn't mean the public's talking a lot, a lot about it. But, you know, as I said, if the Board of Internal Economy is going to examine this and um, have different rules, then that's not uncommon. Um, and, you know, I'll live by whatever rules that they determine. Another issue that's been brewing on the Hill for some time is the so-called culture war. And I'm wondering what you make of CBC pollster Frank Graves. Is he a liberal partisan? Do you believe that? Well, look, this, this CBC receives over $1.1 billion from taxpayers. So the CBC, um, you know, is going to be a source of public debate regardless. They always have been. There's nothing new about this. And the CBC has obviously an obligation that I think they understand, uh, that is to be a, a fair and impartial public broadcaster to serve the public good. Um, so if there's debate about what Frank Graves had to say about, you know, stirring up a culture war and dividing Canadians for the purpose of gaining seats in the House of Commons, I think that's more than a legitimate source of uh, a debate, especially, you know, if he was giving that advice to the Liberal Party. Um, so I think that's a, an entirely legitimate source of debate. And um, this is all fun. Jane, Jane, you wouldn't have a show if we didn't have these kinds of good, healthy, robust debates. So I think you should welcome these kinds of things. I have no problem with that. But I just want to get your view on whether you think the public broadcaster's money is well spent on hiring someone who your party believes is, is a Liberal. Well, no, I, I just reiterate, public broadcaster has an obligation to be uh, not biased and to make sure that they're objective and to have good, healthy and robust discussions and debates about the CBC and about the way in which they handle the news and spend the over $1 billion they receive from taxpayers, I think is uh, an entirely healthy thing. Seems like a good way for your party to raise money. You raise money very successfully on the backs of anti-CBC campaigns. What is it about your party, your people and the CBC? <laughs> well, people in our party, as I said, we maintained our campaign commitment. You know, look, we we believe in a in a in an impartial, robust public broadcaster. You know, they broadcast in eight Aboriginal languages in the north. They provide you know francophone content in cities like Vancouver, Anglophone content in, in places like Quebec City, where otherwise it wouldn't exist. They have a core and responsible mandate, and part of their mandate as well is to be uh, impartial and be seen to be impartial. And as you know, that's a very complicated question about which people can debate a lot and about which a lot of people have chosen to join the debate. And I think that's not a bad thing. On to copyright legislation now. I bet the last time that it was changed was even before you were born. 1997, so I was four. Yeah. There has been real criticism about the copyright situation here, charges of Internet piracy, the fact that we're way behind our peers. In fact, France has just passed new legislation to create a new department that would cut off uh, sharing, Internet sharing of copyrighted material. Is that the route that we're going to go here? Well, look, you know, we are obviously concerned that Canada has has fallen behind uh, in, in our responsibilities to both ensure that consumers have clear rules and expectations and, under, and understandings and also to make sure that um, consumers are supported and empowered and also to make sure that um, creators of copy, copyright material uh, have modern uh, a, frame, a modern framework for which uh, they can be protected from those who would do them harm and the pirates that are out there um, and you know just copyright breakers in general so we made a commitment in the throne speech that we would bring forward copyright legislation in this uh, parliament and we're going to follow through that commitment and also in the throne speech we said that our, our approach is going to be balanced we're going to balance you know and support what's in the best interest of consumers and everyday Canadians and also to make sure that we uh, have a responsible regime that allows Canada's uh, creative community which includes the movie industry the software industry video game industry music industry television industry everybody uh, to be able to continue to create and know that they're not going to get ripped off and have their have their work stolen for them from them uh, in uh, in a way that is obviously entirely counterproductive to Canada's uh, economic future so are you pretty virtuous about what you download on your iPod and your computer? I am, as a matter of fact, and I will be glad to, to share my uh, <laughs> iPod play those with you at any time. No, I'm, yeah, I, I download all my stuff and pay for everything that's on my iPod, um, you know, for a whole bunch of reasons, not least of which because uh, it's uh, obviously the right thing to do. If somebody's creating something, you have to pay to get it, and that's, that's the way our system works. 
What's taking so long for this legislation to come in? As you know, um, we did um, consultations last year. It was the most broad consultations that Canada has ever undertaken with regard to copyright. We received thousands of uh, um, submissions from across the country, and a lot of great ideas were stirred up as, as a result of that. Copyright legislation is very technical and it's very complicated, as, as you know. So um, we're writing legislation. We passed our throne speech. We've had a, you know, a very aggressive uh, agenda this spring in Parliament with the, the economy, with getting uh, tough on crime. And uh, you know, we've promised and committed to bring forward legislation, so it'll be coming to a Parliament near you. You recently caused a controversy when you tweeted that the Vancouver Canucks are Canada's team. People jumped all over you. So Minister, I want you to tell us now, who is Canada's team? Now that the Canucks are on the golf course, <laughs> obviously, go Habs, go. Thanks so much for joining us, Minister. Anytime, Jane.